What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. The video didn't even start yet, y'all, but this one's in it. I appreciate you anyway. Derrick Jackson back out here in these streets, y'all. <laughs> Derrick Jackson back out here in these streets, man. Shout out to uh, Dear Wifey's uh, show or podcast or something like that. I can't remember the guy's name, the podcast the channel's name. Uh, if I remember, I put the eye at the top, but Denia Jackson was the first one to get on his channel to do the interview. I think it was like three, four hours or some craziness like that. If I remember, again, I put that at the top where I spoke on that. But uh, Denia, uh, Derek Jackson is now on here saying his piece. I believe it's a two-parter. I seen the first half. I did not see the second half as of yet. Um, I was able to find this snippet of it on Facebook on my own, thankfully. You know, appreciate y'all, you know. Uh, but yeah, I was able to uh, to find this on my own actually, which is hilarious, man. Because usually y'all be the main ones that sh that that sends me stuff. Um, but let let let's let's get into this, man. You know, I it, it's I said this before. Um, you know, I was like, yo, I hope Denai Jackson leaves because this guy has some type of problems, some type of issues. During the first in the first um, episode, first I guess part one, I guess I should say, there was a lot of things that he said that kind of made sense. But there was a lot of things that made me was like. What the hell are you talking about? And I say all that to say this, ladies, I, I say this many times. If you're in a situation where you're dating a man that's narcissistic and, and a, 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 a habitual liar such as him, such as Derek Jackson, uh, you should leave. Because I believe those types of those th that this type of caliber, uh, quote, quote unquote, of men is unstable and dangerous, unpredictable. I say this all the time. I don't like being around people that's unpredictable like that. I don't. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but let, let's let's get into this, man. This is this is about to be crazy. How long were you single, and y'all still y'all still never just stopped dealing with each other? Ever, no, right? no, 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 no. So y'all were we're not official together, but we still gonna be smashing, meeting up to smash. Uh, how long did that season last? Maybe about a year. I would say this was in um, I think it was like the second half of 2015, and then we didn't get together and operate as a couple couple until uh, Marley was just about here, and that was in 2016, end of 2016. So yeah, she went and did her thing, and and from my understanding, not just single like we smashing, but she was on dates with other guys. Nothing wrong with that, and of course I was doing what I was doing. So is this her comedy when she says? Me and the girl, she said, I knew, you know, I like having sex with them. We passing each other, men and women passing each other in the hallways. Is that comedy or for real? I don't know why she said that um, because I told her a story about two girls passing each other. There's no way in heck I would have her because I know her temper. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? I never seen her fight, but I know her temper. She's yeah. um, she going to make stuff uncomfortable. No way I would have her around any other woman that I was actually smashing. Uh, but there was a situation I told her. So maybe I think as she was talking, like us, as a, everybody who's, you know, sleeping with Derek. Um, but yeah, there were two girls that passed each other up on the staircase. Because I never lied. Like, this is what I'm on. Um, I'm single now. I'm in deep in my whole phase. And I'm going to win all American honors in it. So before, before they move on, listen. Ladies, this, this this is y'all king. This is y'all king, ladies. This is y'all pandering king. This is the same man that was trying to uh, hold Kevin Hart accountable for his actions, what he did to his wife. And then Kevin Hart came out saying, oh, well, it's not like that. Me and her, we were separated. We're seeing our own people. We do this, that, and third, blah, 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 blah. And Derek Jesse came out here and made that crazy ass. I think he had like 10 million views. Uh, where, where he was basically saying, oh, well, if you're married, you're either married or you're divorced. There is no seeing other people when you're in a relationship. You need to only be focusing on your wife and how to make it work with her and how you do this and how you do that. But here you have this man just that just that just literally just said, because uh, what, what was the, the host asking in the question? Oh, you guys weren't together. So you guys technically were separated, but you were still sleeping together and sleeping with other people. But Literally two, three years ago, Mr. Jackson, you was condemning Kevin Hart for technically the same, roughly the same thing. If I'm being brutally honest, the only difference between them two is Kevin Hart got caught slacking in, in, in a goddamn brothel. He got caught slacking in the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I guess it's kind of, Kevin Hart is kind of worse, I guess, in my opinion or whatever. I don't know. But Denia Jackson, again, like, like I said in my other video, 
she's not as innocent as he tries to portray herself to be. I'm almost certain she does what a lot of other women do in these types of situations, which is paint themselves as the victim for validation, for attention. So she can be, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Didn't I just... But I, I, I called that out a while back while I was like, yo, uh, Denai Jackson is not as uh, as innocent as she portrays herself to be. Whatever, right? Back to Derek Jackson. My whole thought process on these types of situations is this, sir. If you're going to uh, preach about it, then you should live by that. Practice what you preach, right? I'm not going to sit out here and tell y'all, hey, yo, don't wear Nike long sleeves. And I'm wearing a goddamn Nike long sleeve. It doesn't make any sense. You're being a hypocrite, being a narcissist. This is why these people is coming out here saying these types of things about Derek Jackson. This is why. Because, I mean, honestly and truthfully, in some way, shape, or form, he's lying. Whether he was lying then or lying now, or lying both times. Lying then or lying now, either way, you're still lying. But let's let's keep going. We got like 50 seconds left. Let's, let's keep going. Because I, I got a couple more things to say and I'm going to end it. I ain't going to spend too much time on this. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. So if you can be 10 toes down and be honest like that, I can't do nothing but respect that. Because women say that that's what they desire. They like for a man to be straight up honest so they'll know how to move accordingly. There could have been more etiquette in how I did some of those things. How? Tell me how you have that. Um, first off, you whore, know, whore I, thought that was, I thought that was kind of messed up for the girls I had passing each other. Um, I really was in savage mode. And then I think one or two times the nail would see like some condom rappers or something like that. And I'm like, even though we're what? not together, she may be doing her thing. We know our history and we know the feelings that we got for each other. And especially whenever she got pregnant, you know, we conceived Marley, I think New Year's Eve or what have you, and going into 2016. And, you know, we continued engaging sexually, but she's pregnant now. And then I was still out here doing my thing. Ladies, I say this all the time, right? I say this all the time. When you get out of a relationship, you have to fully detach yourself from from someone, from, from that someone, right? And which is the, one of the main reasons why, in my opinion, I don't believe in doubling back per se. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in us breaking up and us having casual, occasional sex. I don't believe in doing that. Once I'm done with you, I need to fully detach and separate myself around you. I don't even want your energy around me, let alone to be having any type of sexual orientation, um, uh, s s sexual uh, uh, altercations with you. Because you're not fully uh, uh, detached from this man. Denia Jackson is not fully detached from this man. And I said this multiple times, like, yo, listen, she's still in that stage where if this man was to call, was to call her and tell her to come through, she's going to come through. And that's just the truth of the matter, unfortunately. That is the truth of the matter. And it's going to be like that for a while. Why? Because again, ladies, going back to what I always say, you have to be, however long you were with that man, you need to detach yourself for a third, if not half of that time, that duration. So if you're dating a man for, let's say, five years, you need to be single for at least two, two and a half years, if not a third of that, a year and a half, two years, just under two years. To fully detach yourself from him that means being around not being around him for that full two years two and a half years that, and that's just the start same thing for fellas you know same thing with with, with us but for women it's a little bit deeper but ladies literally just that i don't think she's going to be able to fully detach herself from this man because she's still sleeping with him and having casual sex with him and that is going to be her downfall because I said this before and I'm going to keep saying it again. Denai, Denai Jackson is a very gorgeous, very attractive woman, very attractive woman. But a lot of men that knows her, uh, her story and knows who he is, they're going to be hesitant to, first of all, to not only date her, but to take her serious. They're going to be hesitant about it. They're going to be hesitant about it for a multitude of reasons. I say all that to say this. Um, 
you know, I mean, first of all, Derek Jackson, I mean, again, I, I thought it was a fairly decent interview. Shout out to the guy. Uh, again, I I'll make sure to tag the channel and I'll actually make sure to put both links, part one and two, in the description so you guys can go back and watch that. Um, to watch this, to watch this full interview. I honestly thought it was a very de decent interview. Um, I learned a lot about him as a man. I learned a lot about their relationship. Like I say all the time, y'all, it's his, it's his side of the story, her side of the story, and then the truth. You got to kind of find and we, you know, what, what you can and find out whatever the truth is with the, uh, with the information that they both give you and then just walk away from that. Um, all in all, a uh, great video. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember, but whatever. It's all good. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell. Some more sides. Same time, make an upload notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man. Be safe, Erica.